This is part 22 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to filter array elements in JavaScript. To filter array elements, we use the filter method. The filter method creates a new array and populates that array with all the elements that meet the conditions specified in a callback function. First, let's look at the syntax of the filter method. Filter method is an instance method, so we invoke it on the array object which contains the elements that we want to filter. This method has got two parameters, callback function and this argument. Callback function is a required parameter. This callback function gets called for each element of the array. If the function returns true, then that element is kept, otherwise it's filtered out. The second parameter, that is this argument, is an optional parameter. Within this callback function, we can use this keyword. The object that this keyword references can be specified using the second parameter, this argument. If this is too confusing at the moment, don't worry. We'll look at an example of that in a later video session. The filter method gets called um, one time for each element in the array. If the callback function returns false for all the elements of the array, the length of the new array that will be returned is zero. Now, let's look at the syntax of the callback function. The callback function has got three parameters, value, index, and array. The value parameter specifies the value of the element in the array. The index parameter specifies the index position of the element in the array. The array parameter specifies the source array object that contains the elements that we want to filter. Now let's look at an example. So we are going to have an array. Let's name it my array. And this array is going to contain numbers from 1 to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now what we want to do is filter out all the odd numbers and retrieve only the even numbers. And we want to achieve that using the filter method. Now, if we have to use the filter method, first we have to specify the callback function. And if you look at the callback function, it has got three parameters, value, index, and array. So first, let's go ahead and create our callback function. Function, and let's name our callback function is even. So this function is going to contain three parameters, value, index, and array. Now remember, this function gets called uh, for each element within the array. If value mod 2 equals 0. So when a number is divided by 2, and if the remainder is 0, then we know that it's an even number. And in that case, this function is going to return true, else it returns false. Now, this callback function needs to be passed as an argument to the filter method. Remember, filter method is an instance method. So we are going to invoke that method on this myArray instance. So myArray.filter. And to this method, we're going to pass our callback function that is is even. Now, what is this filter method going to do? It's going to call this callback function once for every element within this my array. And remember, this filter method will actually create a new array. And then whatever elements within this my array satisfies the condition given in this uh, callback function will be included in that new array, and that array will be returned. So this method gets called for every element within the array. So it gets called first for element 1. And that gets passed to this value parameter when 1 divided by 2, the reminder is not 0. So in that case, it is going to return false. When it returns false, element 1 is not included in the new array that will be returned by the filter method. Now when it comes to 2, uh, 2 modulus 2, the reminder is 0, so it returns true. So number 2 will be included in the result set that will be returned by the filter method. So it does this for all of the elements within the array. So for all even numbers, this function returns true. And for all odd numbers, this function returns false. So within the result set that will be returned by this filter method will include only the even numbers. So let's store the returned array in another variable. Let's name it result. And finally, what we want to do is print the elements that is present within the result array to the document object. 
So when we run this, as you might expect, we should get all the even numbers, that is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Now, if you look at the logic within this callback function, you know, notice that when we divide a number by 2 and if the remainder is 0, we are returning true, otherwise false. If you look at this expression, this expression itself will return either true or false. So instead of all these lines of code, I can simply say return value mod 2 double equals 0. So this expression itself is either going to return true or false. So now when we run this, we should still get the same result. That is all the even numbers. There we go. Now, if you look at the example here, what we are doing first here is creating our callback function first and then passing the name of the callback function as an argument to the filter method. Now, instead of this, what we can do is specify this callback function as an anonymous function directly within the filter method. An anonymous function is a function that does not contain any name. So when we remove the name from here, this is an anonymous function because this function has no name now. So now I'm going to pass this entire code as an argument to the filter method. Let's format this a bit. So now when we run this, we should get all the even numbers, that is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Let's look at an exa another example. This is a very uh, common interview question. How do you remove duplicate elements from the JavaScript array? So let's look at an example of that now. Now our array is going to contain some strings. Sam, Mark, Tim, and Sam again. So Sam is repeated twice within this array. Now what we want to do is filter out the duplicates. So we want to get only the unique elements. So let's see how to achieve this using the filter method. So the callback function will have those three parameters, value, index, and array. So here what we are going to do is use this array parameter. So what is this array parameter referencing? It is para uh, referencing the source array that contains the elements that we want to uh, filter. So I'm going to use that parameter here. Return array dot. There's a method called index of. So what is this method going to do? It's going to return us the index of a given element. So to this method we can pass an element and this method is going to give us the index of that element within that array. Now remember this method gets called each time uh, you know for every element uh, within this array. So we want the index of given value and I'm going to compare that with the index that is referenced by this index parameter. Now, if the index is same, then include that within the result set. Otherwise, filter that out. Now, let's see what's going to happen You know, when we call this for element SAM. So this method gets called once for every element. So when it gets called for SAM, SAM is passed into this value parameter. So index of SAM within that array, this method is going to return the index of that element. Index of SAM within this array is 0. So this code is going to return 0. And this parameter will return the index of that element, which is 0 again. So is 0 equal to 0? Yes, that returns true. So SAM element will be included in the result set that will be returned by the filter method. Now at when it comes to mark, so index of method is going to return the index of element mark. In this case, it will return 1. And this index will contain 1. Is 1 equal to 1? Again, true. So the array that will be returned will contain mark as well. Same will be true for Tim. Now when it comes to Sam, so Sam element is actually present in two places. That is at index position 0 and at index position um, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. So index position 0 and index position 3, SAM element is present. Now, 
this index of method is going to return us the index of the first occurrence of that element SAM. So in this case, this index of method is going to return 0. Okay, whereas the this parameter index will return the actual index of that element. In this case, it's going to return 3. Is 0 equal to 3? No, it will return false for this element. So it will be filtered out. And the array that will be returned by the filter method will only contain these first three elements, Sam, Mark, and Tim, the unique elements. So let's run this and see if we get the output that we expect. Notice that we only get the unique elements. Now let's include Sam one more time here and see if we still get the same output. Now Sam is present three times within this array. When we run this, we should get Sam only once. Notice that we still get Sam only once. Thank you for listening and have a great day.